guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, hopefully everyone's doing well. I'm um, excited that you guys are here uh, for another video. I think it's my third video or something. Um, I'm gonna talk today about two pairs of boots that I have. So these are the Visvim Virgil boots, and then these are the Visvim Grizzly boots. So I think I'll start a little bit with the Virgil boots. Uh, I'll take one as an example. Um, I think the point of this video is really just to kind of show a bit more um, information on camera about these boots. I haven't really seen much um, in way of like kind of YouTube content about, you know, the Virgil or the Grizzly boots. Um, so I kind of wanted to, I don't know, show a little bit on camera, you know, create a sense of kind of community. If you guys have questions, I can answer them, you know, can exchange kind of thoughts and ideas. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, so here's the uh, Virgil boots. So this is, you can see here, um, hopefully that focuses. Give that a second to focus. Um, this is the, uh, I believe this is a Kyoto edition. Um, so this came out, I think when Visit opened their Kyoto store. Um, you can see that it has the kind of older um, kind of tag there. Here, let me switch my focus. Focus this guy. So you can see here, we have the, uh, sorry about that. Free International Laboratory Cubism, kind of old school um, little logo. You have some additional details here, such as the VisVim um, TPU heel stabilizer. Uh, while we're kind of zoomed in here a little bit, you can see that I've worn these a decent amount. Uh, I think that this is some sort of oil or something that I kind of got on the toe. Um, you can see some of the creasing, but that's all kind of natural. Um, I use shoe trees when I have these, um, just to keep them in kind of good shape. Uh, the sizing has kind of worn off on the inside. Usually the sizing for these is uh, here, kind of on the tongue. At least that's what I found. Uh, but you can see that that's kind of worn off. I'll let that open up a little bit. You also have here, it says Goodyear Handmade. If that will focus. Uh, apologies, I'm using this camera for the first time in a little while, so. Uh, kind of getting used to it again. Uh, Good your hair made. And you can kind of see around the stitching around here, um, this kind of stitching channel here. Um, I believe this is handmade and hand uh, Goodyear welted. Um, so that's pretty pretty cool detail. Um, you can see on this in, inner kind of side, it doesn't say um, VisVim or anything. And then on the bottom, you have, I believe this is a custom Vibram um, sole. Or kind of outsole. You can see that I've worn these a decent amount. Um, I like to wear my <laughs> wear my shoes. Uh, you can see that kind of by the you know the front of the toe kind of here, and then the back of the heel. There's a little bit of heel drag um, there. So let me switch back to autofocus and then kind of step off and tell you a little bit about a little bit more about these. So I <clears throat> picked these up uh, used, pre-owned. Um, it's either either Grail or eBay. Um, if this focuses, <laughs> let's see it. There you go. There. Um, either Grail or eBay, I don't really remember. Um, they are in good shape when I got them. Definitely worn these a lot. Um, these are actually a size nine. I usually wear a US 10 um, in kind of boots. I've heard VisVim kind of sizes uh, kind of small, so I wanted to get a little bit of a smaller size. Um, these fit me fine. I could probably use a little bit more room, so like a nine and a half would be great, um, but it's kind of hard to find some of the some of these in, in the right sizing, so I was lucky enough that that kind of worked for me. Um, some additional comments are, I really like the stitching um, and the color of the boot in particular. It's coming off a little bit more orange on camera than it is in reality, um, but I really like the stitching details. You can see that here you have kind of the matching stitching. This is a super soft suede, um, so it's a really cool boot just to, especially in the fall, it's like a perfect fall boot. Um, some additional things are that I'm not a huge fan, personally, of the kind of speed hooks. Um, I know some people really like them. Um, I find it kind of tricky. I think that the lacing on here, for some reason, doesn't isn't, in my opinion, like the best. Uh, when you lace them up, maybe it's just how I sized them and I didn't size them right. Um, but when I lace them up, it, it's like kind of really tight up here, and it's kind of it doesn't look the best, in my opinion. So I wish that it was just kind of normal, uh, kind of eyelets all the way up. But you might be different. Um, again, just a really cool boot. Here's the back, um, just some vertical kind of stitching there. 
Um, I've worn these with some jeans and you can see a little bit of the, uh, the indigo kind of wearing off at the top. Um, yeah, all in all, just a really great pair of boots. Uh, perfect for the fall. Um, and also a really versatile boot, uh, as opposed to some of the other Brisbane styles, which are a little more, um, maybe design heavy or design forward. Uh, these are just a really great pair that, you know, they almost look like some sort of Aldens or you could see, uh, maybe not quite Red Wing, but you know, some sort of, kind of an Alden type of boot. Um, so these are the Virgils. Um, the next pair are the Visvin <coughs> Grizzly boots. So these are my uh, kind of more recent pickup. Uh, my most recent Visvin boot pickup for sure. Um, these are the Grizzly boots. So these are different from the Virgil boots. You can see the visual difference a little bit. Um, so you can see that the Grizzly is taller. You can see it's a taller boot. In general, the construction is very different. Um, this really has a lot of kind of stitching on the toe cap and all around the kind of boot in general. You can see the, the silhouette of the boot is completely different. This one also uses both leather and suede. Um, I have to say the suede on here feels to me to be nicer than the suede on here, um, but there's less of it. Uh, it's just kind of more of a detail. Um, so let me put the Virgils down and then talk more about the Grizzlies in detail. Um, so you can see here in some similar ways, this is the, I guess the left boot. Um, you have a lot of similar details. So you have the, uh, let me switch back to manual focus. You have, there we go. Uh, you have the Visvim TPU kind of heel stabilizer here. Um, you can see some of the additional stitching, same down here. Um, I also believe that these are hand uh, Goodyear welted. I could be wrong about that, um, but I believe they are. You can see here, you see that they have like a, almost a comical <laughs> amount of stitching kind of on these. Um, you see that there's a number of different um, kind of stitching lines here, all kind of culminating in the toe cap here. Um, you see there's like, you know, the, if you conclude the base, there's one, two, three, you know, four kind of five lines of stitching. Um, so definitely a more aggressive, if you see what I mean, kind of um, silhouette. I think that more people, if you're a little more conservative with how your kind of style is, the Virgil boots might be a little bit better for you. Um, these are a little bit more aggressive design-wise. Um, kind of going on the other side, you see the stitching continues. And then here at the top, um, you see this kind of suading, suede detail. Um, you can see an additional difference is these don't have the, uh, the kind of quick hooks. Um, these use eyelets all the way up. Um, you can see as well, the, the suede here, it's really soft. Um, sometimes I, I lace these up kind of all the way and then sometimes I do either this uh, eyelet or this one and then I kind of wrap the, the laces around, um, which is why you have this kind of, uh, kind of imprint there. Um, on the back as well, there's some additional details. So you have um, really nice leather, I think. Someone will correct me, this is bison leather, I believe, um, used on these. You can see the color is really beautiful. It's like kind of this um, burnished brown almost with kind of some reds in it as well. Um, I've also found that this leather kind of the color transfers a little bit. So, um, you know, it's kind of faded in certain areas, which I like. You can see that there's some scuffs um, from where I've worn them. They have a little uh, heel pull tab here to kind of put them on a little bit easier. And then here's the sole. So a different sole from the Virgils as well. These have a, a Vibram sole as well, but a different kind of sole. Um, so you can see a little bit of heel drag here. Um, you see the kind of signature Vibram yellow detail. And then I've worn these a decent amount, so I actually at some point I need to get these resold. Um, and then some, some wear kind of, you know, by the toe area. So a different kind of sole, as well as these are taller. You can see that there's a bit more of a heel here. I don't know if it's an inch, maybe around an inch kind of height that you get from these. So if that's important to you, um, I'm already 6'1", so it doesn't really matter to me. Um, you know, that kind of is a nice detail. Um, some additional kind of differences are the, uh, the little leather tab here that's on a lot of Vizvim products. Um, I believe that this is unique uh, to the kind of season that it comes out in. Um, so I think these are from 2016. So you have this kind of image here. These are kind of, these are, I believe, hand stitched in as well. Um, and I think hand painted. Um, so you can see that there. On the inside, you also have the Goodyear Handmade um, 
and a logo, and then let me double check. I believe these are, yeah, these are also a nine. Um, so typically wear a 10 in most other shoes, these I wear a nine. Um, I find that these fit me really well. I wouldn't want to actually go bigger. Um, so a full size down is kind of a lot, maybe, uh, to some people, but these fit me really, really well. Um, and I wouldn't want to kind of size them any differently. Um, yeah, you can see I also use shoe trees in these as well, just to keep them, um, keep them in good shape. Uh, give you some additional details. I haven't found many YouTube videos about kind of these uh, products, so I thought this would kind of be cool to show you a little bit more uh, in-depth look at what these look like in person um, and some of my thoughts about them. Um, you can see the kind of beautiful detailing here. You can kind of see what I mean about the stitching. Like this is a lot, a lot more aggressive um, than the Virgil boot. I think that these look really cool. Um, let me switch back and then back up. Let that focus. Uh, so you can see, yeah, these are more aggressive of a boot uh, and a little bit more maybe, uh, let that focus again. Uh, you know, kind of a more unique silhouette in a lot of ways. Um, so that's, you know, kind of a quick look at the Visvim Grizzly boot and the Visvim Virgil boot. Um, let me pick up the left boot in both of these and kind of show you one more time. Um, so this is the Grizzly and then this is the Virgil. What do you guys think? Uh, do you like one more than the other? You know, are you looking to add these to your collection? Are you selling them? Um, to be honest, I'm looking for, they're really expensive, so not, you know, if I get a good deal, I'll, I'll look at them, but the um, Indigo Camping Trailer uh, Grizzly Boot is kind of a grail item of mine, and I'm really kind of looking for that um, for a decent price. Um, those run a, a kind of a lot, so, you know, looking to add that to my collection at some point. Um, yeah, let me know. Are you guys looking to add these to your collection? Do you own them? You know, what, what's what's the deal? <laughs> Where do you see yourself in the kind of, you know, why are you interested in them? All that kind of stuff. Um, you know, feel free to leave me a comment or, you know, go to my Instagram page and, you know, drop me a comment or a follow or, you know, send me a DM if you have questions. Um, you know, I'm kind of happy to answer anything that you guys have. Uh, I have some other things that I want to review coming up. Uh, this is a recent kind of pickup that I have. It's, a, it's another visit of item. It's the Caravan jacket. Um, in a really warm kind of Sherpa lining. You can see um, here, it's, it's like a corduroy, uh, indigo dyed kind of corduroy with the Sherpa lining. So you know, if anyone's interested in that, I can definitely post a review. Um, yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, drop me a comment, uh, follow on Instagram, whatever you guys wanna do. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you next time.